And uh, I'm now joined with one half of the new Shimmer Tag Team Champions, Miss Delara Doom. How's it going? Hey, how are y'all? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it, you guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And uh, congratulations to you and Leva Bates on becoming the new Shimmer Tag Team Champions. <laughs> Crazy. Thank you. It's- so, so surreal. <laughs> so cool. So, uh, <sighs> how, how's it feel? You've had a couple of weeks to to reflect on it. How's it feel? It's it's really amazing. Um, I mean, uh, wrestling for Shimmer has been on my my bucket list for my career in wrestling since I started training. So, just being able to debut for Shimmer and being you know brought on as a main member of the roster was, you know, I thought you know top of top of the world feeling and then to walk away now being a champion of that promotion it's i i can't really put it into words it's um i don't know i'm speechless about the whole thing still <laughs> it's definitely a uh, rewarding considering how prestige uh that shimmer is um and I had a conversation with a fellow competitor that was also there, Zoe Sky. Um, oh wow! She, a, she, for what she told me, she had a great time there as well. Um, and I want to talk about this tag team, you and Leva Bates. Um, <laughs> Leva, I've interviewed her multiple times. She's all. She's always entertaining to, to talk to she's known for her cosplay her costumes and everything um how did you two became a tag team how did that came about um well we when i debuted for shimmer um in july i was in a four-way and here comes leva bates dressed as richard simmons and for me that was uh amazing because I love Richard Simmons and we just sort of formed a bond from there and she made the save for me when I wrestled uh, Vanessa Craven. Uh, her and Tessa tried to give me a beat down after the match and Leva came to my side and we just we meshed really well and I think her and I are going to have a great reign as tag team champions. So for the moment that you saw her dressed up as Richard Simmons <laughs> She want did, now. I gotta. I, I love to ask this t- question. Did you knew that she was dressed up with Witcher Simmons beforehand, or did you find like like everybody else? I found out just like everybody else, <laughs> and it was a great moment. So that I, I love Leva. She's and um, she's a Kentucky uh, person, native. Like you know, I live in Kentucky, so I love rooting for the Kentucky people. Um, any, and anyone who's cool with Leva is cool with me, and I've been a fan of yours as well. So the C- well, thank you. And to see y'all two team up and team and, and have such great chemistry from the jump, um, that that's that's very cool. So, uh, uh, for those who may not know, what what is the name of the tag team between you and and Leva? We are the Totally Tubular Tag Team, or T4 short. T4, I like that. (laughs) It's easier easier to say. (laughs) That's easy to say, and that's easy for the rest of us to chant. T4, let's go T4. (laughs) That's that's awesome. Um, So I hear that you have trained at the Funaki Dojo. Um, Yes. Funaki, or as I will forever refer to him as SmackDown number one announcer. That never <laughs> is so. Uh, what was the experience like work uh, training at the Funaki's dojo? Uh, training with Funaki has been a blessing for me. He He's amazing. He's one of the most patient um, trainers I've ever worked with. And he worked very closely to WWE. So um, just being around him is it's amazing, and I've I've seen myself grow and learn so much from training with him in the last three years. I'm very I'm very grateful. 
very grateful for him. So from the time that you've trained there, what's, what's the, what's the advice that he gave you, um, as a, as a fellow wrestler? Oh boy. Um, Oh, he's given me a lot. His, his big thing is, um, is telling a story and in, in psychology during a match. So, um, just, you know, how to, how to do that and how to, how to, take the audience on a, you know, on a roller coaster of, of emotion. So I'd say that's the best advice he's given me is just how to tell, how to tell a story. So, um, let's, let's go back to when you got started. Um, what, was there anyone that inspired you to become a wrestler, male, female, indie, a pro, who inspired you to become a wrestler? So I first started watching wrestling when I was seven years old. And so that time, um, China was the big, uh, was big. And I remember when I, the first time I ever sat down to watch, um, to watch Raw, I saw China and I was just amazed and blown away by this, this strong, um, empowering woman who was, going toe to toe in the ring with, with men. And so as a little girl, I was like, Oh my gosh, I want to do that too. So as, as a little girl, China was my inspiration. The ninth wonder of the world herself. May she rest in peace. Um, she broke barriers. Uh, she was the first woman I've ever saw that went, went up against women, um, against men. I, I do remember the matches she had with Chris Jericho. Um, and, yeah. and I do remember she competed in the King of the Wing tournament and the first woman to enter the Royal Rumble match. And uh, she 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 stood her own. And she earned the respect of her male counterparts as much as her woman counterparts. Um, so, China... Uh, Without question, should be in a WWE Hall of Fame. Um, without question, um, obviously that's that's a lot have to happen in order to, for that to happen. But her resume speaks for itself. Um, yeah. So, but that you know that's just me. Um, uh, so, what do you have in store for the remainder of 2017 as far as upcoming shows that people need to check out? So I'm actually in L.A. right now. Um, this weekend, I will be at Southgate, California for Rise 6 Brutality, where I will be going one-on-one -on -one with Rosemary in a steel cage match for my uh, Phoenix Arise Championship. And then on Saturday, I will be wrestling for AWS uh, at the same venue in Southgate, California. Um, and then December 9th, you can catch me in Laredo, Texas for Laredo Wrestling Alliance. And that's actually going to be my last show as a Texas resident because I am actually moving permanently to the L.A. area, which I'm excited about. So I will be wrestling for Bar Wrestling on December 14th and uh, for uh, Ground Zero in Imperial Beach on December 23rd. Yay! I'm super excited. Going from Texas to California. That's that's pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> uh, that's, that's awesome. You know, congrats on that. Um, Cal Thank you. California, very heavy on the indie scene, so um, that's, that's going to be quite a 2018 for you. Um, so, you know, people got stories and meanings behind their stage names and all. Um, how did you came up? How did you end up with the name Delilah Doom? I actually don't have a cool story. <laughs> uh, it's something that I came up with uh, when I was younger. I just liked the name Delilah, and then I just, you know, like the uh, double letters. So I thought Doom was cool because it sounds. You know, 
scary and like some evil person's coming out and then you get me. <laughs> the total opposite. So for me, I just, I just really liked, I just liked it. I don't have a, I don't have a cool story. I'm sorry. It, it's, all, it's all good. <laughs> you know, the, the doom thing, you know, caught me off guard because I look at your character and, you know, and, and it's kind of like what you say. You're, you're a complete opposite of that. Yeah. So, um, you know, but you stand out and you're a very good wrestler, you know. Well, thank and, you so much. And, and that's all thank that matters. When that bell rings and you're looking at your opponent, like, I'm going for the win. Like, you know, say what you want about my name, but uh, you will respect me after that bell rings, regardless of the outcome. So... Uh, that's uh, Delia Doom. Uh, check Woo! check that out. California, she's coming. So uh, I'm so excited. So she's coming. So um, social media links. Um, where can people get in touch with you? Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Um, any other links? Uh, you can find me on Twitter, which is my most used social media at uh, Delilah underscore Doom. Very easy. And then on Instagram, uh, it's the same thing, only for Doom, use zeros instead of the letter O. And then you can find me on Facebook as well under Delilah Doom Simmons, like Richard Simmons. Ah, uh, I see <laughs> now. I see it now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I did tag you on um on Facebook. I don't know if you noticed it or not, but I, I saw the Simmons. I'm like, and then I look at your Twitter bio. Now I'm like, oh, now I get it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, you have quite a, one of the coolest bios of Twitter. I'm just going to say, you love the 80s. Um, I do love the 80s. I, I'm, I'm an 80s baby, born in 84. Um, so, nice. So that was, what, what is your favorite part of the 80s that stood out to you? Um, I just really like, uh, I just like pop culture a lot, but, um, Oh, I like like big hair and the the crazy fashion, the bright colors. That's that's my jam. <laughs> so, in, in addition to the social media links, um, she's got Pro Wrestler Tees page. Um, go check out her t shirts. She's got plenty yeah. of t t shirts, and you know what? I may have to buy me one of these for real. Um, I'm liking Ooh. I'm liking the sweating with the doomies. I like That's that. a good one. I like that. Uh Queen of Acrobatic Style. Okay, I like that. You got the blue, you got the green, Doomies never say die. Uh you got quite the, the choices. I'm I'm gonna have to go with I may go with the, the acrobat style one and I'm gonna go with the sweating with the doomies. Woo! I also have another store too. Oh. Where I have other designs. Okay, okay. Where can people go for that? Uh, it's whatsamaneuver.com. And then just look for Delilah Doom and you'll see um, other other options. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Well, well, Delilah, it was great chatting with you. Um, thank you so much for being on the show. Congrats again to you and Leva, new Shimmer Tag Team Champs. And um, continue success, and uh, I look forward to seeing what you have in store for 2018. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for having me. Have a great night. You too. Oh, oh, Bye. Case, have a great <laughs> afternoon. Since uh, you're in the West Coast at the moment. You too.